Beloveds, I come to you today to give you consolation, to lift you up and to cause you to be the kind of believer that you are and don't let anything that go on in our world cause you to do otherwise. Before I uh, give my little message to you, let's have a word of prayer. Eternal God, we come right now. We pray that thou wouldest help us, God, our Father, as we listen to your servant, that it would cause us, Lord, to take hold and have faith and hold on to your unchanging and unwavering hand, unwavering hand. We know that you are God Almighty and we belong to you. So God, give us the comfort and consolation that we need as we listen to your servant and as I speak to your parishioners, God, help us to take hold to our faith and move forward in the way that you would have us to move. In face of all that's going on, we know that you are God Almighty. And God, we pray for consolation right now in Jesus' name. Amen. I um, am doing this recording uh, to cause us, even though we listen to the news media and even though we have uh, Amir and others that are telling us that what we need to do and how we ought to do it and with the orders that are being issued to shut down everything because of this virus that's going on. We know that you are God's people and being God's people we have the uh, power and authority to move forward and do what God alone would have us to do in face of what's going on. I shared with you Sunday from Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. And uh, I'd just like to kind of go over that again uh, and and you know what it says God say if I shut up the heavens that there will be no rain or if I send the locusts into the country and the locusts is given orders to destroy if I send pestilence into the land and we know that pestilence is uh, in uh, name wise uh, the virus that we have going on God say even though this will happen but if my people that are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will I hear from heaven and I will heal their land, forgive their sins. And we need his healing right now. We need his forgiveness right now. And so I say to you, take hold to your faith and don't let what is going on cause you to doubt a disbelief. God is still on the throne and we know that he will prevail. Now, we have been given a word from Amir and from even the hierarchy that there should be a great shutdown. Uh, and the shutting down and staying in our homes and what have you. Uh, those were words from 
those that's in charge. But I want to say to you that this coming Sunday, to God, if God is willing, I will be at my Herb Church recording my message to you. And I have uh, persons that are working now to make sure that the recording will be sent out and uh, you'll be able to both hear the message and be able to receive from your pastor the consolation that you need and the inspiration that you need. And we pray that you would uh, abide by what we are about to say in face of the fact that we're not able to assemble but we can still be supported and I need your support at this time from a financial perspective and you say brother pastor how are we going to be able to support well let me give you uh, if you will, let me give you uh, where that you can mail your support in. Uh, send it to the P.O. Box 13. Uh, oh, let me make sure. 130235 Houston. Texas 77219 that's our P.O. box and if you will comply to that we'll be able to receive your financial help and you know God is able and he will provide and I pray that his provision will continue to flow through you and I. Now, be encouraged and move forward in a prayerful way and don't let your faith die. Hold fast to your faith. In my closing, let me close with a prayer. Father, we thank you for these brief moments we pray now that thou wouldest encourage your people and help them to walk in a godly way. And God, we know that healing belongs to you. So God, heal, restore, and deliver, I pray, in the strong and powerful name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you.